Oh, hey there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hi there, kiddos. It's great to see you. Now, I've had a pretty wild week so far, and so far it's been pretty... What's going on? What do you mean? I, I mean, who are you talking to? Oh, just them. Um, who? Them. The kids watching. Look. Oh, <laughs> would you look at that? <laughs> hey. Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, kids, after a weird week, I figured it'd be a good time to meet with my buddy Andy. Not only have I had a couple weird things happen to me this week, but I've also been reading some Bible stories that have been really throwing me through the loop. So I figured I could meet with Andy this month and talk it through it all. Now Andy, you sure you don't mind listening to me? You ain't got nothing going on? I mean, I have a horse doctor appointment at like three, but besides that, I'm all ears, buddy. Oh wow, cool. I didn't even know horses could become doctors. Anywho, how should we start this? We'll get comfortable. Maybe we can just start off by you telling me how you're feeling today. Well, to be honest, kind of embarrassed and a little uneasy. Why embarrassed? Well, today I actually brushed my teeth with mayonnaise. Oh, I see. Wait, wait. mayonnaise? How, do, how does that even happen? I keep my toothpaste next to the mayo and I guess I forgot to look at the label. Wait, you keep your toothpaste in the fridge next to your mayonnaise? <laughs> yeah, and you don't? No, that's weird. You're weird. Sorry. You're good. So why are you feeling uneasy? Well, I got done reading the story of Jeremiah going to the potter's house and I got a little worried. All right, tell me about it. All right, well, it all started back in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 18. So, it was at the beginning of the week when I started to feel a little weird. You see, I just... Hold up, What? what is this? Oh, these are just my thoughts. So this is all your thoughts? Yep. But everything's like animated, like a, like a cartoon. I know it. Ain't that the coolest? I mean, I, I guess so. So what happened to make you feel so off? Well, I guess I just got a little overwhelmed. You know like when there's like a million things in your mind and makes your brain all tired and confused like a turtle in a museum? Well, it just hit me hard and I figured I'd pick up the Bible and give it a read. And man, I sure did get more confused. Really? Are you sure you read Jeremiah chapter 18? Absolutely. I mean, not all of it, but enough. I mean, God told Jeremiah to go to the potter's house. A potter's house? You know like someone can make like pots and vases out of like clay and stuff? Well, the person who builds those may be called a potter. So Jeremiah apparently goes there and sees the potter working. The clay that he had on his wheel fell apart, and well, it was no good. And then he... I don't know, I stopped reading. I mean, why would God want Jeremiah to go to some potter's house just to see him mess up? Is God saying that Jeremiah's a mess up just like that big blob of clay? That's just cruel, and that makes me scared. But Carl, that's not the end of the story. What do you mean? Well, if you look at the rest of the story, the potter actually takes that messed up clay and turns it into something better, a better pot. Really? Really? And then God tells Jeremiah this. Can I not do with you, Israel, as this potter does? Uh, what does that mean? God is saying just like that potter can take that blob of clay and turn it into something truly beautiful, we need to trust that God can and will do the same thing for us. Huh. Never thought about it like that. I guess you're right. So I definitely have been feeling like a useless blob of clay lately. But God hasn't finished working in my life. And God knows what's happening with me. I guess that's the most comforting thing I've heard all day. Reminds me of the scripture. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. Ooh, I like that. Me too. It reminds me that no matter where I go or how far I go, God will always be there. No matter how wacky or out of control my life may feel. I don't know, it makes me feel secure. Whoa, that's great. Really, why? Well, I'm just saying, the Bible is very clear that we are secure. Jesus promises that he's always going to be with us and he's already overcome the world. So even though it is a given that we are secure, I'm glad you feel that way, girl. Huh, I guess you're right. How cool is that? Hey there, you little chicken nuggets. It's me, Jada. I'm so excited to share today's big idea with you. And that is because of God, I can feel secure. So let's say it out loud on the count of three, okay? One, two, three. Because of God, I can feel secure. Great job, kids. 
Now, make sure to tune in to Grow TV next week to see what Carl's been up to. See you later. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow.